what's up? I'm Jeff Willett. Uh, this is my video for SickDrummer.com. This first clip is part of the clean song for the new Aborted Existence CD. It is uh, three measures of 5-4 and one measure of 6-4 to complete the phrase. It has uh, the hi-hat keeping time with the foot on the downbeats and the max stacks on the offbeats. <laughs> Next time groove is really tool inspired and uh, it's 11 4 and 12 4, and I play a few variations of it. <laughs> incorporates some of the effect symbols I use. Uh, the 10 inch Will Calhoun Alien Disc and the 8 inch Terry Bozio Radio Bell. It's in 9-4, 19-8, 9-4, Next song groove is just a short little 5-4 thing, hi-hat and a bass drum do a 3-4 uh, or four pattern for the first part and then just straight beats for the last two beats. Alright, here's the 3-4 foot pattern I'm about to use in the next video, so check it out. This groove uses that foot pattern as well as uh, paradiddle diddles on the with the hands, split up between the steel mini temps and all the toms. crossover techniques that I use for playing death metal. It's uh, It'll sound like straight blast beats, but I'm actually playing flam accents. Splitting one, splitting the flam up between the snare and the hi-hat and alternating the hands with those each time. But this isn't really supposed to take the place of blast beats. I mean, I still use those. Alright, here's another kind of the crossover technique. I use uh, flam and diddles or flam paradiddles instead of flam accents, giving it a 16th note feel instead of a triplet feel. Same idea though. <laughs> Watch it again in case he blinked that last time. Alright, I use this next technique a lot in the death metal songs too. It's called the gravity roll, gravity blast, one-handed roll, whatever. Basically, it doubles the amount of hits that you could usually play. You, um... Hold the, hold the stick, pinch it between index finger and thumb, and you just hit it flat and it'll go down, bring your, lift your wrist up, and it'll come back up. Two hits in one. It's pretty cool. 
Here's another example of the gravity roll. I just synced up the bass drum with the snare and play a little hi-hat thing with it.